Our midweek focus today is Matthew chapter 9, verses 2 through 8. Jesus was in a town in the midst of a large crowd, and as he taught, a paralyzed man was brought to him. Jesus saw faith in the man's heart and said to him, Take heart, son. Your sins are forgiven. This bothered the religious leaders. They accused Jesus of blasphemy because, as they said, only God is able to forgive sins. In the same way, Jesus saw faith in the heart of the paralyzed man. He saw the evil in those around him and said, Why do you think evil in your hearts? For which is easier to say, Your sins are forgiven, or stand up and walk? But so that you may know that the Son of Man has authority on earth to forgive sins, Jesus paused and said to them, He turned to the paralyzed man, and no one spoke or moved, but they all watched. Jesus said, Stand up, take your bed, and go to your home. The man stood up, and he went to his home, and all the people were filled with awe. Not only could Jesus restore the body of the paralyzed man, but he could forgive sins and declare a man righteous before God. Today, you need to know that Jesus can heal you. He commands life and death and the winds and the waves. He alone can forgive sin and give you new life. He can help you overcome your demons and endure your struggles. You simply need to come to him. To get to know him through his word, to speak to him in prayer and to join him in church with other people who are being healed by and used by him. Notice that this man did not have the strength to come to Jesus. He couldn't do it. He was paralyzed. His friends had to bring him. You might be the paralyzed man who needs a friend. You can't do it on your own. And here at Stanford Christian Church, there are people waiting on you to be your friend and to help you come to Jesus. Even if we need to carry you there, we want you to come because we believe that Jesus makes life better and we want that for you. Or you might be the one God uses to carry a paralyzed, hurting friend to Jesus. If you know Jesus, you know that life is better with him. You know how he heals and how he gives peace and joy and how he empowers us to overcome and gives us a cause. There are people in your life that God has given you to carry to him. They need your help. Love them. Care for them. Tell them about Jesus and invite them to come and be a part of our church. Help them to get there. And Jesus will work.